Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking trending skincare at Olive Young Global. Now, you probably know that Olive Young is one of the most popular beauty stores in South Korea, and if you've ever wondered what's actually popping off in Korea in the skincare space, check out Olive Young Global. I love that they list their 100 top-selling products. It's really a great way to see, like I said, what's really taking off and trending in South Korea, and of course, in the international KBD space too. So today I'm going to be taking that list and I'm going to be condensing it down to 20 of my top picks, things that I've tried, things I have strong opinions on. I'm going to be sharing all of Young's ranking against my own ranking of these products. So if you're so ready to dive into the 20 picks, it's going to be a lot of fun. Give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in. My 20th pick is the Estra Edo Barrier 365 Cream. A couple of years ago, if I was doing this video, I would have ranked the Estra Cream probably in the top five. It would have been much, much higher on my list. But as you may know, it was recently reformulated in January of 2024. And what they reformulated and changed about the product, I think has taken away a lot of what made that product so unique and so good. And, and I'm salty because what they took away is what worked for my skin. So that's why I'm ranking it pretty low right now. I am very salty about it. Olive Young is ranking this as the number two spot on their top 100. I've even seen it as the very number one spot which makes sense. Um, this is definitely a cream that has been gaining popularity over the last two years. It's definitely something that I believe has gone viral in the past and is one of the top K-Beauty moisturizers that a lot of people are talking about. However, like I said, there have been changes and that's why I've dropped it so low onto the list. My number 19 pick is the BioDance Bio Collagen Real Deep Mask. Now, Olive Young has this ranked at number 13 as well as number 26, respectively. I personally bought the four pack, which was a little pricey. Uh, four masks for $25. Um, these are a little bit different though, um, and they are marketed in a way that I think has made these incredibly popular and definitely an item that people People are talking about. So this isn't your traditional like cotton sheet mask that's soaked in an essence. It's actually a hydrogel material. So you know that that's kind of like that gummy gel like texture. It's not super wet, but the material actually kind of like over time infuses with your skin. Um, and so you're actually supposed to wear this mask until the material starts to go transparent. It starts off opaque white and then it'll start to go transparent as that gummy hydrogel melts and infuses into your skin. And so so the marketing on this actually says that you can wear this for many, many hours. It's a very long lasting hydrogel mask or they also say you can even sleep with this mask on. You can put it on almost like a sleeping pack. It's a really nice effect when you take it off. My skin looks really like plump and smooth and a little bit more even and bright and it feels like on the top it feels silky and conditioned but I have to say you know I am prone to dehydration and so the fact that this mask is not like drenched in that liquidy essence that dives deep into the skin and really replenishes the skin it's more something that sits kind of on top of your skin and it's a little bit dry my skin doesn't feel so great wearing this for more than one hour. Um, my skin starts to feel a little bit dehydrated, a little bit dry. It does infuse with your skin, but it kind of like sits on top a little bit just due to the nature of how it's being delivered in the skin. That hydrogel just can't dive in really deep. And so like my skin chemistry, my dehydration, and this mask, it's not the perfect fit, especially for wearing longer, like I said, than an hour. My number 18 pick is the VT Riedel Shot 100 Essence. Now this is ranking on Olive Young as their number 12 seller. Now I'm not surprised at the high ranking of this product because this is super duper viral. I mean like not even hype or viral status with this product. It is everywhere. I totally understand why people like it, uh, why it's popular, why it's selling so well. It's incredibly unique. I mean this is a serum that micro needles your skin. There's little, they're calling them readles. I call them needle readles. There's little needle readles in here that actually open up pathways into your skin that allow not only the active ingredients in this uh, serum, which are niacinamide and centella, to dive deep into the skin, but also the rest of your skincare routine that you're putting onto your skin. Those pathways are open, and so in theory, your skincare is getting into your skin a little bit deeper, a little bit more effective, working a little bit faster for you. I personally find this product, uh, it hurts. You can feel the needle readles. It did not feel good on my skin, and it actually did cause irritation for me, so not a big fan. Um, I don't think it's 
for everybody. Um, but I, you know, I understand why it's popular. Like I said, it's unique, it's different and kind of like the bio dance masks too. You know, the marketing really draws you in. It really captures your attention. It does stand out as something different. And that's what makes things popular, at least for the time being. Right. And so I think we're at the height of the Riedel needle craze. It could get bigger. I'm sure it will. Um, but it definitely makes sense that this is in the top 12 at all of young. My 17 pick is round lab birch juice, moisturizing sunscreen SPF 50 plus PA plus four. This is ranking currently number eight at all of young. It makes a lot of sense because it has a really lovely texture. It is a gel-like type of sunscreen. It's a very light. It feels very breathable. Uh, it's not something that weighs your skin down. It's not really greasy or shiny. It doesn't leave a white cast. It's very easy to work with texture. It doesn't pill. It definitely does build in moisturization as you, you know, layer it on, as you reapply your sunscreen. It's going to feel a little bit more moisturizing, but that very first layer feels so refreshing, so light, so comfortable. The only reason that um, I rank it a little lower and I don't really use this product while well, I have tested it and talked about it a little bit. It's not in my um, rotation of sunscreens due to the essential oils that they use. That is just an ingredient that makes my sensitive skin go off. You know what I'm saying? So I try to stay away from those ingredients as much as I possibly can. Otherwise, I think it's an excellent sunscreen. My number 16 pick is the Numbuzin number five plus set. Olive Young is ranking this number one on their site at the time of filming. So the set is actually a really good value. It includes the newly released vitamin boosting essential toner along with the uh, vitamin concentrated serum and a couple samples of their toner pad. And so this is the number five plus uh, line. So this is the, the serum that includes vitamin C, glutathione, arbutin, and niacinamide. This is totally focused on brightening your skin, right? And of course some antioxidants as well. And so I've been playing around with these products. The only reason I I didn't rank them higher it's just because I just started to use them. I just bought these. The serum has a, a gel texture that feels really nice and slightly plumping on the skin. And I really like the texture of the toner. It's like a jelly, like a, a bouncy plump jelly uh, texture. It's got a lot of body, but it actually dives very deep into the skin. It's very hydrating, incredibly plumping. And so I am thinking about doing a, a video review on these two products. Uh, let me know if you're interested did. Um, cause like I always say, like, if you're interested, I will do it. Um, but if there is interest, I mean, they are the number one products at all of young, right? I probably should be reviewing these. I'm going to keep testing these out, but there's a lot of, uh, very, very good, reliable brightening ingredients in these products. My number 15 pick a newer heart leaf toner. This is currently ranking number 10 at all of young. And you know, I like this toner a lot. Is it the most hydrating one out there? No, it's not, but I think it's a really nice solid toner. And I understand why it's so popular and why it's still ranking very high at Olive Young is because it's something that I can see working for a majority of people. It's just a very simple um, toner, very simple ingredients, very simple texture. And like I said, I can see it working for a variety of skin types. It is something that has gained a lot of popularity over the last uh, year. I think it's gonna continue to be popular. And it's just a really easy to use type of product. My number 14 pick is the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Moist Sun Serum, SPF 50 plus PA plus four. Now this is ranking as number 18 in the sun care category of Olive Young. Um, I was researching this video and as I said, the one top 100 list is always fluctuating. This was in the list. And then the very next day when I went back, it was gone. <laughs> and I was like, wait, where did the sunscreen go? Um, it is still ranking quite high just in the sun um, category. I understand why people like it. It has this really interesting gel texture, even more gel and lightweight than the um, Round Lab Birch Juice sunscreen that we recently talked about. This is even lighter than that. Um, there is some denatured alcohol in here that really helps to keep this incredibly light. I mean, it dries super fast on the skin. That is incredibly appealing for a lot of folks. They're also using some essential oils, which I've already covered, not an ingredient for me. So um, I just kind of put this in the middle of the pack because I respect why people like this. I know a lot of people. I've given away a lot of my sample products and things that I've gotten, you know, sent to me. I'm like, well, I can't use this. I've given this 
sunscreen away a lot and all I ever hear back is how great it is. So I totally get it. My number 13 is the Toradin Dive In Serum. Olive Young is ranking this at number 23 currently. And I'm actually surprised it's at 23. I was thinking that this would still be like in the top 10. How many years has this product and this product line been trending? If you were looking at like a, a line graph of like the popularity of Toradin Dive In, it would be like, boom, right? They're using five types of hyaluronic acid, but they've really balanced it out in a way. You know how sometimes hyaluronic acid can lean into almost a moisturizing, kind of a thicker medium, kind of heavier feel on the skin? They have really balanced it out to still keep it really lightweight, watery, refreshing, um, and something that dives deep as the name suggests. And so it doesn't sit on top of the skin. So it's a really elegant take on hyaluronic acid in my personal opinion. So I think if you're trying to adjust, um, you know, like hydration on the skin, dehydration, I think it'll feel really good. If you want to plump your skin and firm your skin with hyaluronic acid, I think that this could do that. Um, I think if you're just kind of looking for an overall like refreshing uh, type of serum, this can do that. And because like I said, they've really been elegant with the texture, it's not going to overwhelm a lot of different skin types. My number 12 pick, the Torrid and Dive In Sheet Mask. Olive Young has this ranked at number nine currently, and I am totally on board with that ranking. I love this sheet mask. It is so juicy. It's so hydrating. It is fragrance free. Thank you. Um, but it's one of my favorite sheet masks um, that I've been using like more newer favorite sheet masks. Cause like once I like a sheet mask, I just stick to it. And so a lot of my sheet mask faves are like ones you've heard me talk about like four years ago. This is slightly newer, um, but this is something that kind of made it into my little stack of sheet masks and kind of stays there because when I want something that just really dives in deep, this was my issue with Biodance. It doesn't dive dive deep into my skin and replenish it. This mask does that. It's your traditional cotton sheet mask drenched in that dive in uh, SNC serum, all that hyaluronic acid. And it just really, really infuses deeply into the skin, gets down to the source of the dehydration and the tightness in your skin, but also makes it feel really plump, juicy, bouncy, and it doesn't overwhelm your skin either. It doesn't like create that weird like tight type of film on your skin. So just a really great sheet mask. Um, I almost like this sheet mask a little bit more than I like the serum, quite honestly. My number 11 pick is the Beauty of Jason Revive Ginseng and Retinol Eye Cream, which is currently ranking number 20 at Olive Young Global. And I like this, you know, I do have a, a video review on this uh, that came out right around the time that this product was released. And you know, I'm a fan of this. I think it's a really nice take on retinol and it's retinol to hide, not retinol spelled with an O. Um, and I think it's a really great match between retinaldehyde and ginseng. I love ginseng and eye creams. It's something that really helps to, uh, just like the name suggests, revive the eye area. It helps to increase the blood circulation, which can make you look a lot more like refreshed and awake. And who doesn't need that from time to time in the eye area, right? So I love ginseng and eye creams just generally. But then the addition of the retinaldehyde is really um, very good for targeting fine lines, wrinkles, loss of firmness and elasticity. And it is also a brightening ingredient as well. And so I think it's a really smart formulation. I love the gel cream type of texture. Um, that is something that I think sinks into the skin really nicely. It works well um, for I think a lot of different skin types. It's not gonna feel super duper overwhelming. It's really easy to spread. But this is also a fairly generous size. I believe it's about 30 milliliter of product. So that's pretty big for an eye cream. This is a great beginner uh, retinol or retinoid product if you wanted to use this all over your face. Uh, it's gentle because it's formulated for the eye area. But if you're looking to kind of start that um, process of getting yourself accustomed to a retinoid product, this would be a great place to start. And I think that's why it's ranking so high right now. So my number 10 pick is the Toradin Dive In Cream, which is currently ranking number number 32 at Olive Young. And we've really already covered a lot of the dive-in products. You can clearly see how popular they continue to be. Um, I like the dive-in cream. I think it's very plumping. It is a deep drink of water for the skin, just like the sheet mask and the serum. Um, I think it's really nice. It's best for those who are leaning a little bit closer to oily. If you're oily, combination, more oily, uh, even if you have a balanced skin type, this is gonna be the right type of cream for you if you're dry. Um, or super duper dehydrated, even though that drink of water sounds nice, I don't think the cream's gonna perform like really excellently for you. Um, it has a very, um, 
a very light occlusivity, which for dehydrated folks, you need a little bit more to help hold the hydration in place. And for dry folks, it's just too light and gel-like, I think, to really um, address dry, true dryness on the skin. But um, I do think that it, it has kind of a sweet middle spot for um, a lot of um, skin types, right? Um, so I think a good amount of people will find success with this cream. It's not for everybody. This isn't even my favorite line from Toradin, so I feel like, I'm like, hey, where's the solid in line? Because that from Toradin is so, so good, but everybody's always putting the love and the light on Dive-In. Dive-In is amazing. Um, but I was a little disappointed that there wasn't as much of the solid in ceramide line, but I think that's just kind of like how it is with K-Beauty. I've noticed that there is a lot more interest in the lighter, plumper, hydrating gel cream-like textures, and a lot of the brands and a lot of formulators aren't really focusing in on very rich types of creams. Um, I don't know why that is, but there always seems to be like a true classically dry skin blind spot in K-Beauty. And I think that that is, we can see that reflected in the list here. A lot of the moisturizers, so, uh, I'll talk about some that are a little bit more rich, but a lot of the moisturizers do tend to be a little bit more on the lighter, plumper, hydrating, gel-like side than they are on like a really rich, really buttery, very moisturizing side. My number nine pick is the Beauty of Jason Matte Sunstick. This is currently ranking number 13 in sun care at Olive Young Global. I really like it. I think what makes it unique and why it's selling so well is because it, it claims to be matte and it delivers on that promise. So many sunscreens are very dewy, very shiny, um, right? You know what I mean? It's like, it's really hard to find something that doesn't have too much of a finish or is actually matte. And I think that this really um, does the trick. Sunsticks, I like, uh, I think they're very handy for reapplication. They're great for going over makeup. My number eight pick is the Skin 1004 Centella Ampule, which is currently ranking number 27. And I was surprised it wasn't higher than that, but I think this is a product that has maintained popularity popularity for many, many years that um, I think that it is less shiny and less new compared to some of the other products that we've talked about, right? I mean, I remember trying this out in it, like 2020, I think, and it was already very popular by the time I had personally reviewed it. It is a single extract serum, so it's just Centella extract in here some preservatives, some glycerin, right, of course, but uh, the only star ingredient here is Centella. It's a very gentle ampule. It has a really nice lightweight texture. So again, um, some themes here, something that's gonna work for a majority of skin types, um, an ingredients list that's gonna work for a lot of different people. Uh, lots of people like Centella. It's a very gentle ampule, but it definitely can help with redness, inflammation, um, and just kind of helping to calm and even out the skin. My number seven pick is the Beauty of Jason Dynasty Cream. This is ranking number 77 at Olive Young. And I have to say, I was floored to see that it was ranking at all um, at Olive Young because you know, this product, um, I use Dynasty Cream uh, starting in 2015, and I, I use it uh, almost religiously. Like, I was very devoted to this cream for years, truly years. Um, from 2015 to about 2018, 2019 is um, when I was just using this all the time as my main squeeze moisturizer. Most people don't realize that Beauty of Jason has been around that long. They think it's somewhat of a newer brand. It's not. They have been around for nearly 10 years. But it's a really nice type of cream especially if you have like a combination skin type, if you suffer with some dehydration because it really does help soothe a lot of the signs and symptoms that come with like a slightly weak uh, moisture barrier. It helps with dehydration. It helps with irritation. It helps with inflammation. It gives the right amount of moisture without overwhelming the skin. It's just the right amount of occlusivity without sealing off the skin. If you have the type of dehydrated skin that also has some oil on top, I think you're still gonna like this cream. It's not totally a gel cream, but it's not super duper like silky, buttery, or rich either. Again, a lot of the trending creams seem to strike a, a happy medium, um, and this absolutely does, um, and, and it has some great ingredients in here too, like ginseng. My number six pick is the Cosrx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence, which is currently ranking number 63. Similar to the Skin 104 Centella Ampule, it will always be a staple, it will always be ranking, it will always 
always be like one of the best selling products, but it's just maybe not going to be in the top 10 just due to the fact that it's not new, shiny, you know, unique and interesting anymore. Um, it's solidly in the middle of the pack. It's one of my top ranking products. I think it just really performs nicely. It has proven itself time and time again, year after year after year, right? Um, it's popular for a reason. This is something that I always say. My number five pick is the Beauty of Josan Rice and Probiotics Sunscreen SPF 50 PA plus four. I'm ranking this number five. Uh, Olive Young is ranking it number four. So this is actually the first kind of like really, really close ranking um, that I've gotten with um, what's really popular and, and selling right now. A really nice moisturizing sunscreen, something I like a lot in the winter because it adds that little extra layer of moisture. It feels really creamy and nourishing, but it's a very protective sunscreen too while not being very, very overwhelming. Yes, it's moisturizing, but for me personally, I don't find it to be like that heavy, thick, greasy, sunscreen layer. It just feels like a nice moisturizing layer on my skin. And my number four pick is the Round Lab 1025 Dokdo Toner, which is currently ranking number 37. I was surprised I would have ranked this a lot higher. <laughs> you know, this is in my top 10 for sure. My top five. I love this toner. And, you know, similar to the Anua Heartleaf Toner, this has a texture that I think is going to work for a lot of different skin types. It's really easy to add into any type of routine. The texture is just really watery it dives in deep um, but the difference here is I find the hydration level to be a lot higher than Anua and so for me this is my top toner pick especially out of what is offered at Olive Young's would be my number one hydrating most hydrating toner pick out of what's available on their site. My number three pick is the Beauty of Josan Propolis and Niacinamide Glow Serum. This is currently ranking number 52. I really like this one because it's a great serum that addresses acne and breakouts on the skin and congestion, but it also addresses hyperpigmentation from the inflammation you might be getting from your acne, congestion, and pimples. So I like that it targets more than just one thing. But this also has a texture that is, unlike a lot of the products I've talked about, it it's not gonna work for everybody. It is more of a medium moisturizing gel texture. So it's a little bit more weighty on the skin. Um, it's not like the, the really watery that dives in deep kind of feel. It's much more moisturizing, it's thicker. Um, it's plumping, but it's gonna feel heavy, I think, for more oily skin types. So I think it can be a letdown for certain skin types. That will make sense why it's not higher up in the rankings. It's not gonna work for everybody, but for that kind of very specific situation, with uh, you know breakouts, inflammation, hyperpigmentation, all of that, and that medium gel texture works for your skin type, like combination or dry, this is a really nice one. My number two pick is the Illy Yoon Ado Concentrate Cream. Elif Young is ranking this number 76. I'm salty about that. It is one of those few creams that I think is trying to address more dry skin types. Instead of like kind of telling the line between kind of a gel and a cream and trying to please everybody, you know, this cream was recently reformulated about two years ago. Uh, they did reformulate it to be a little bit more moisturizing. And while that was definitely something to get used to, and I think it was a letdown for certain folks, I do think it actually helps this cream stand out. Unlike Estra, which changed in a way that made it kind of fit in with everybody else, Iliun changed in a way that made it stand out even a little bit more. And it's one of those few picks that I think that has an, a, a richness to it that can really help to address dryness on the skin. Is it gonna be enough for very, very dry skin? Probably still not. But for somebody like me who has combination skin, is a tretinone user, but can lean a lot more dry in colder weather, this is perfect. This is perfect. It's the right amount of moisture where other creams aren't going to stack up. Estra is not going to do it for me. Iliune will. And so my personal, you know, ranking on this cream is still incredibly high. And my number one ranking is Skin 1004 Hyaluseca Water Fit Sun Serum SPF 50 PA plus four. Olive Young is currently ranking this at number seven. So we're in the top 10. Um, I love this sunscreen. It was really a toss up about what I wanted to put into the number one spot. But when I think back over the last year and all of the skincare that I've used and that I've purchased and repurchased and the products that continue to stay in my routine year round, 
this is the one. And so it was a clear winner for the number one spot in my personal ranking. It has that really beautiful gel cream texture, feels weightless on my skin. It's so breathable. It's so comfortable. Uh, no white cast, no pilling. It's not overly moisturizing. It's not overly shiny. You know, it's just effortless. And that's why I want my sun care to be. I want it to be effortless. I don't want to put that much, you know, stress and, and time and effort into it. I just want to be able to grab something that works. And this is it. Ooh, that was a really fun trip through some of the most popular and trending K-beauty products, right? I'm curious to know your thoughts about some of these products. Let me know in the comments. If this video did help you out, I would love it if you come join our community. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, especially if you love K-beauty products and turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop. I am very active here on YouTube every single week. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I love you so, so much. Really am hoping that you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I can't wait to talk to you in the next video. Bye.